Okay, so um, for the purposes uh, of, of the video, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, uh, please. Yeah, um, I'm Tegan Walsh and I am on the BA Early Years Top Up Studies and I work in a primary school. Okay, right, thank you. Um, so, um, in, in terms of um, your involvement in this project, um, what was it you actually did? Um, I looked in, as part of my dissertation, I looked into poor housing and its implications for children's health and wellbeing. Um, I've done a two-stage research where I've sent out um, questionnaires and I also made a video on poor housing and its implications for children's health and well-being, which was played um, within a focus group in order to challenge um, participants' perceptions and opinions on um, um, what they think about, about the topic. Okay. Um, so, w w with the questionnaires, um, how, how did you use the questionnaires? Was that electronic? Uh, no, they were paper questionnaires no. um, that have been sent out. Okay. And, and then you, you then moved to, to do the video? Um, and in, t in terms of the video, um, how did you go about, um, well, have, have you ever produced a video before? I've never produced video at all. Um, I had to uh, teach myself how to use the window, uh, Windows Movie Maker, mm -hmm. um, which I collated a selection of images from the internet um, and incorporated statistics and any research and findings in order to make the overall video. Okay, so um, so, so y you taught yourself. Um, could you give a little bit of detail about how how, how you actually did that? Um, well, I just had a little bit of a play around with it, really. I practiced, I made a practice video, yeah. um, played around with how to add music to it, um, how to upload the images, um, how to animate them. Um, and from just basically just having a play around with it, I was then able to go on to make my final video. And I, in terms of stress or in terms of, w was it a stressful thing? I found it quite enjoyable really because it's something different, it's something I've never really used before because everything I've done has been written or academic so being yeah. able to use a different form of media as part of, part of my dissertation um, has really brought like a new edge to it and so I found it quite fun really to be able to put my cre creative slant on, mm -hmm. on things. That's right. Um, in, in, and your images that you got um, from the internet, was there any particular sites that were? Um, no, I just used Google Images really and then um, trace them back to the original site and, and use my references from the original site. Mm -hmm. So I just used Google Images right. to find the, the, the images that were most appropriate for what I was doing. What about the anthology book that you used? Oh, um, yeah, I also used an anthology book which um, I found, which was made by Shelter on the, for, on the children's children's opinions on on poor housing and living in poverty. And that was what an an ebook, was it? Or uh, was no, that was this is a book that I found on Amazon just by by doing a bit of research from across this book. So I ordered it and um, I, I actually used some of the poetry within it as part as part of my video. Right. So so you so you, you got this production. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you ended up with, with the video, with the final thing. Yeah. Um, what did what did you do with it then? Did you um, post it to YouTube? Uh, no, I didn't want to post it to. I am going to post it to YouTube, but I didn't want to post it to YouTube as in the time being because I hadn't yet used it as part of part of my focus group. I wanted to be able to use it as part of, part of my focus group before anybody else saw it. Okay. So, so then, but you managed to show it to your focus group. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how, how did you manage to show to your focus group? Um, I connected my laptop up into the college computer, uh, which was then played on the, s on the screen with the projector. Excellent. And uh, how, how easy was that to do? Um, it was quite easy, wasn't it? We just um, detached the like, lead and put it into my computer, so it was pretty easy. And, uh, and did, did you... Sorry, there were difficulties with the format. And with the format, honest, that's why I had to... Yeah. Movie maker on my Right. So we just attached yeah. Tegan's laptop to Yeah, laptop. And, and, and did you did you have to get um uh, like the technical technician support to, to do that? No, no, it just, just yeah. And 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 you had you had the you had the wire yourself yeah, to the connected the in, in in the staff room in the classroom sorry. Yeah.
<laughs> no, 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 not at all. No, 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 but um, I, you know, um, it's just great. I, I, you know, I'm just, I, I really admire the way that you, you know, that you just use your laptop to be mobile. Um, yeah. So, so, so then, so the focus group was, was then took place here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell me a bit more. Did did you do some kind of? Um, um, do you have some kind of control or something? Or I like had um, points of discussion. I made a focus group agenda, which was handed out to the participants, uh, which had points of discussion. I basically read out the points of discussion that we were discussing, but I had very little impact on answers. Um, I just let the group discuss discuss their views and what they thought. And if I felt that it was going off off a little bit, I might have just thrown in a question to bring it back. 